Good morning from Florida. We just dipped into Florida last night and today the plan is to decorate the bus for Christmas because although we want to actually be on the bus for Christmas Day, I love Christmas time and it's December and I just really wanted to make our home festive. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. And we've just parked up in a town but we are kind of not enjoying just stopping in town so we've booked this really amazing nature spot nearby which we're heading to after we've grabbed a few little things. Yeah. Okay, the one thing is though, we didn't really want to go and buy like cheap, crappy decorations just to not probably never use again. So we thought we would either get secondhand things, which we stopped at Goodwill yesterday and picked up a few little things. Okay, we're heading into Goodwill. I'm gonna try and find all of our Christmas decorations secondhand. There's a whole bag of bubbles here. Ooh. You can see that they're a little big. Oh, there's stuff. even like wrapping paper. And stuff. I'm gonna go get a basket. Oh, it's a mug. Oh, it's a little Christmas penguin. If only mugs didn't break. Yeah. On the bus. I found some Christmas lights. <gasps> oh. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna try these lights out. <gasps> right, look. What have you found? Well, we can't get this, it'll definitely break, but how cute would this be if we had a house and we could put cookies all over it? There's so much good stuff here. Yeah. You don't need to buy anything new. Look at how much there is. I think it's almost more exciting because there's like one of a kind, yeah. like. I just love how retro this one looks. Like, yeah. it looks like it's from the 80s or something. Right, we have all of our Christmas things. Or we wanted to get things that are live and biodegradable. And maybe even, I'd love to try to find a little tree that is in a pot so that we can plant it after. That would be cool. I would love to not create more waste from us decorating the bus. So that is the plan. We are at Home Depot right now and gonna try to find a cute little tree. Quick break to tell you about today's sponsor, Athletic Greens. Since we travel full time and you know we're plant-based, sometimes our options are really limited. I've actually had french fries for dinner before when there was nothing else vegan on the menu. That's why I love taking Athletic Greens every morning. I know I'm taking great care of my body with a quick morning drink. The AG1 has been designed to simplify your health routine. It has 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens in one daily serving. It supports your gut health, energy, focus, digestion, and immune system without the need to take multiple products or pills. Some of the powerhouse ingredients inside include magnesium, spirulina, burdock root, zinc, and ashwagandha. And best of all, it's so easy to take. Just one scoop or travel packet and 8 to 12 ounces of water every day. That's it. It tastes really good too. Don't let the dark green color scare you. It actually tastes quite sweet and fruity. It's so easy to take our health for granted, but it's the daily decisions that we make now that will determine our future. Go to the link in the description below to get a year's supply of vitamin D3K2 and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. This is a game changer for supporting your immune system. Thank you again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the decorating. Okay, let's check out the Christmas section first. This size? Yeah. Like it. Yeah, <laughs> it's cute. Okay, the other thing is as we're driving, it's basically gonna be shaking everything and stuff like this, all the needles will just fall off. True. About that. What have you found? Well, look at these kale trees. I just think they look beautiful and then we could actually eat them afterwards. Yeah, I love it. Multi-purpose, decoration and food. It's definitely not the most festive looking option. It's kind of a cool shape though. Yeah. I think we can make that work with some lights and baubles. Okay, let's keep looking. Okay. <laughs> After considering all of our options, we decided to go for the little Christmas tree. So there's our Goodwill box, but we also just got a couple more things of lights because you never have too many lights to make it cozy in here and obviously we'll be using these for many years to come. There's a little tree and where are we going now? We need to find a little star for the top of the tree. So we're going to go to one more Goodwill and then we're going to head to our campsite. Yeah. All right, we've made it to our second Goodwill. Oh, we need a bag. Okay, Liz getting a bag. Um, and I forgot to say, the best thing about everything we're getting here is after we've used it, we could just donate it again. So it'll be like, third hand, not second hand, but third hand, like double, <laughs> you know what I'm saying.
before we start decorating the bus and getting it all Christmassy, we're gonna shoot down to the beach because the sun has almost set. Um, and then we'll figure out exactly where we're gonna park up and position the bus. beautiful is this? I'm just speechless. I'm pretty sure I just saw dolphins out there too. No way. <laughs> so epic. That was a beautiful sunset. Um, we are now back at this spot. We basically booked this on a site called Hip Camp, which I think we found out about from Kara and Nate when we did our van bus swap. Anyway, we're just about to pull it in and uh, these lights are just a little bit too low. So Raya's gonna come up onto the roof and hold them up so we can get underneath. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll park up and uh, have some food, because we kind of forgot to have lunch. <laughs> I think you can, from here, lift it all the way up. We thought Raya might need to get on top of the bus, but it's gonna be tricky with the solar panels now. She'd have to stand on the, the front and lift it up, but this really long selfie stick, I think she can just stand on the ground and lift the wires up like that. <laughs> Bus parked up. I've got a little fire pit over here. This is cool. Okay, we're about to do the bus transformation, completely Christmas-fy our bus. And before we do, we're gonna try and film like a reel for Instagram and get a perfect like before and after. So we're shooting that now. We'll link that in the description. It'd be amazing if you go and give that a like and um, yeah, we're trying to post more reels on Instagram. Right, let's do this. Okay, are we ready? I think so. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so what are we starting with? Uh, the tree, obviously. I think that's the centerpiece. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna figure out where to put the fruit bowl. Put it on the side. This is where we're thinking for the tree. Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna fit perfectly. <gasps> we might have to trim the top. Yeah, I was thinking the top's like, oh. This could maybe hold it down. Ooh, right. wait, we could even put it through. Oh, nice. I okay. That could be good. That's my job. Uh, it's a little stuck on that side, so it's maybe this. Perfect. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be perfect to, to van proof, bus proof the Christmas tree. Let's see. I wonder how many needles are gonna fall out. A lot. <laughs> What do you think about this? Uh, is it the wrong direction? No? No, no, this back side is very empty. Cool. Perfect! Does this gonna work? This yeah. It's very thick. Wait, you wanna do it higher? Oh yeah, it is thick. Yeah. Okay, let me get some. I've got, okay. I've got just the tool. I have every tool you could ever, ever imagine, and this is a very, very thick cable, so should cut through that like butter. <laughs> How? Well, I guess go as, I guess we can start off high and Okay, like here? Yeah. Oh, nice. That actually looks good. Wait, we have to light a candle. Ooh, Christmas candle. Yeah. And this is my one from last Christmas. <gasps> That's only half burned. So. Perfect. Nice. Oh, it smells so good. Cinnamon spice. I love it. Mm. Okay, we need to talk about something. Quite possibly the biggest disagreement that we've had in our relationship. <laughs> that, it's true though, because we have not come to an agreement and it's possible that we never will. Okay, I am very much pro white, warm white Christmas lights. Louis <laughs> prefers. Well, look, I haven't got anything against the classic thing, but it's yeah. so boring. It's not exciting and fun and playful. For me, multicolored 
Christmas tree lights. I grew up with them. It's like a rainbow explosion. It's exciting. It's magical. For me, white Christmas, Christmas tree lights. Christmas isn't about like purple and blue and whatever all the crazy colors are. It's red, gold, silver, green, white. Those are the classic, yes, beautiful. If you want to say classic, but is this color? Wait, we bought small. these. Yeah. Oh, but these are the ones that don't really work. Well, some of them don't. Oh, put, plug them in and then I'll, I'll try and fix it. We did get a trick. Oh, I thought this was a Christmas hat. <laughs> this is stocking. <laughs> this is stocking. Wait, there's so many things we I didn't tinsel. realize we got. I could have bet a hundred dollars that we did not get any. And we got a Christmas candle. I did candle. not think we got any of this stuff. It's perfect. Did all of this was 20 bucks, like everything. Wow. Star is too big. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, it's too big. Right? Why? Ooh. I like that. <laughs> that is cool. These are the decorations that we picked because they're small. I feel like they'll look cute. Oh, and actually, then that gives it that makes it more stable. Yeah, I think most people aren't driving with a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> wow. Wow. Okay, so how far can those reach? Depends how much you want to stretch it. I guess you don't need to like dangle it. No. Alright, we just experimented by putting it all the way around the windows and I think it looks pretty cool. It does look cool. I like how the reflection against the windows looks. Yeah. And then we got to figure out putting some on this side too, but for now, this side is looking very festive. I love it already. I love it already so much. This is like the perfect amount as well and the perfect size. Whilst Raya's putting a tinsel around the tree. We got this very cool string light set with letters and you can spell what you want. So this is actually great for like the future, definitely. Birthday parties, all of that jazz. I can't believe we found this in Goodwill. This is, I would have bought this. This is, hasn't even been used. Maybe yeah. someone got it as a present and they didn't want it. Yeah, maybe. For some weird reason. It's looking mm. so good. I love it. finished. I'm gonna take a little break because we had lunch at 5.30 and now it's like almost 10, no it's past, it's almost 11. We're gonna have a very late dinner. Mm -hmm. um, we also went back an hour so everything's out of whack but anyway we're gonna eat, we're gonna chill. Um, I've got my little Merry Christmas sign up, check it out. Merry Christmas. Nice. I think it's a kind of good position. It's not as bright as these lights. Um, but yeah, it's looking nice. Gonna take a little. Got a little quick salad and sandwich combo. Yeah, Rye's been whipping up the food. I don't know where it all comes from, honestly. Just amazing meals. You're such a good chef. Oh, thanks. This is a very simple one. Okay. <gasps> oh, we smoked over. We just thought we needed a little bit more light. Yeah. There's never too many fairy lights. Oh, wait. I thought we should put the um, stocking here. Do you want to grab it? Oh, yeah. We have the stocking. This isn't a permanent <laughs> addition to the bus, so we're not getting too what these are from, Obsessed but there's from. little hooks on here, which is perfect. Like, yeah, I don't think 
I don't even know they were there. Oh my gosh, it's so literally good. perfect. We could do a little, I guess we could have a little loop out. Wow. So good. I think we're almost done. Oh, these things. Okay, I found these in the grocery store. They're orange chips. They're like dried oranges. So I've seen people like dehydrate oranges themselves and hang them off a tree. Oh, we can use, yeah, weird? let's do it. I think you like that. It's like marmalade. Yeah. yeah. This is literally like marmalade. <laughs> it's a little bitter at the end. We can just, I think it's the, the peel. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can just hang those on. Rai's not convinced with these little orange thingies. No. It's so bitter. I just don't love bitter. I don't even drink coffee because it's too bitter mm. for me, so. And we have one last thing we're going to cook tonight. Or make tonight. What? Cookies. Christmas cookies, <laughs> maybe make some nice, like, tea, ginger tea or something. What's like a Christmas oh, drink? Tea. Hot chocolate? Oh. No, but this is my advent calendar, so I love advent calendars. I, don't, I feel like they make more of a UK thing because that's the first time I heard about mm -hmm, it, the first time mm -hmm. I went over there. Anyway, I ordered this one. It is a tea <gasps> advent what? calendar. Did you not know I had this? No, I didn't know it was that big. I just saw oh. the top bit of it. I didn't <laughs> know, like, how are you shocked? I didn't know it unfolded. <laughs> Um, so today, ooh, wild apple and cinnamon. Look, look how okay, and then we have these. These are the two vegan ones that I found for this year. This one's like caramel, and this one. The problem with this one is they're in chronological order, which I kind of feel like ruins it. Yeah. You're supposed to like search for it. Yeah, they shouldn't have done that. I, but I feel like I should be in it with me. <gasps> I didn't have mine yesterday. I have two. Okay, I have a top hat. I have a Christmas tree. Wait, I need to focus oh, because our faces are. We have to cover our faces up. <laughs> Wait, you're, I think focus. you're too close. <laughs> I think you're too close. Okay, literally, it's the most. It's a brown top hat. That's what you're trying to show them. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I'm trying to show you close up. There's no detail. <laughs> That's the least detailed shape you've gotten. Oh, and also, I washed the mug that we got, the Christmassy mug. <laughs> what is wrong with this camera? <laughs> okay, it's a Christmas mug. I think, we, I'm pretty sure we showed it to you earlier. Okay. Ooh, and then, okay, because we're stopped somewhere. Wait, have we told them that we're plugged into electricity and stuff? No, I don't think, I think we could. Well, the place we stopped tonight, we have water and electricity free flowing, which is amazing. So I'm gonna take out the oven and bake some cookies because we don't have to worry about electricity tonight. Mm -hmm. If you didn't see your Thanksgiving video, when I say take out the oven, I literally mean take out the oven from the oven. Yeah, I need to fix our actual oven, but this is our like temporary solution to oveny things. Siri. Are you supposed to put foil shiny side down? Check it out. Check it out. I've got an Australian Siri voice. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. The surprising truth is that it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> okay, great. So there was a bag of cookie shape things. Cookie cutters. Anyway, it was a bag of like a bunch of them at Goodwill and I asked if I could just buy one and she just gave it to me, which is very nice. These are my favorite cookies because when they're hot, they're so good and chewy and delicious. But they're basically like you're making oatmeal. It's super healthy. It's literally just banana, the soft, like the browner, the better. Some oatmeal and then some chocolate chips and like a drizzle of oil. And then you could add different things like chopped nuts and coconut and whatever different things. I'm adding a touch of pumpkin spice today just to make it a little bit more festive. But that's it. It's so easy. And when they're, like I said, when they're hot, they're so good. Since our Thanksgiving video, our friends saw that video and they gave us measuring cups and a potato masher. So thank you so much to Erica and Ray. Yeah, thank you. Okay, it's now coming in handy. It's also a banana masher. Is that good enough or just like keep it mashing? I think that's good. We just tried to put it in the cookie cutter. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Oh, okay. 
Well, that's okay. The idea was there. <laughs> I know, we talk about Christmas all year and I feel mm. like you just have got to go full out mm. for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Such good vibes. And I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm definitely sad that we're not going to be together for Christmas. Yeah. It might be the last time that we're ever spending Christmas apart because, I mean, most likely we're going to be married by next Christmas, so... Um, Unless something yeah. goes horribly wrong. <laughs> well, okay. Who knows, though? We just haven't... <laughs> we haven't... We still haven't locked down the venue and it's, like, stressing me out. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about right now. Anyway. <laughs> um, and then hopefully, especially once we start having kids, like, we're never going to spend Christmas apart. But I really need all of your advice on this because I can't imagine spending Christmas without my family. And to me, my family is my parents and my sister. At what point... Does that shift when I say my family, will I mean my family with Louie? Is it as soon as we have a kid? Is that when that becomes my family? But even still, I want to be spending Christmas with my parents and my sister. And Louie also wants to spend Christmas with his parents and his siblings. But my family's in New York, his family's in London, so I just, I don't really understand. Yeah, we've, so much... we've done the kind of flying family mm -hmm. to meet us and stuff like that, but Definitely. long term, yeah. At some point, we're gonna have to. Yeah, I'm jealous of people whose parents live close enough to drive, where you can. I know some people do like Christmas Eve with one family, Christmas Day with another, but we can't really do that. We'll figure something out. Yeah. We'll figure something out. But yeah, this year we're gonna be apart. Yeah. It's never nice being apart. Mm. And on Christmas too. I know. Um. Mm. So good. Last Christmas was super super unique because no ne one neither of us was with our family no no one could be with their family so we lived in a house with 15 people and no one could go home and no one's family could come out because of lockdown and everything yeah. so i'm sure a lot of you watching were in yeah. the same position we were all in it together at least and we made it as magical as we could we all got like matching onesies and we all got gifts for each other we had the secret santa with everyone and we played games and did puzzles and watched movies and like cooked epic feasts for each other and it was so so nice it's definitely a christmas i'll never forget because it was so unique and like i said hope i mean hopefully nothing like that ever happens again where we can't travel but it was just wild that no one was with their family that day yeah um but yeah. it was a great christmas day. yeah it was oh yeah and then one more thing i've been thinking a lot about christmas traditions and since we are about to be married and start a family and stuff i'd love to have like our new family traditions so I'd love to hear from you guys what Christmas or holiday traditions do you have um I don't know one big one is getting like a different ornament for the tree that is symbolic of the year so I think we could start with that this year by getting like a school bus ornament because that's definitely what this year has been about for us um yeah but I would love to hear any traditions that you have another one that we do in my family is we always leave out cookies for Santa. Yeah, that never ended at any point, so that's still really fun. Um, but yeah, please let me know any traditions that you have. And is that it? Are we finishing the vlog? Yeah. Yeah, we've decorated. We're gonna chill. I wish we could say we're gonna chill the rest of the night and watch a Christmas movie, but we're actually gonna <laughs> edit this video and work. But at least it'll be cozy while we're working. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that we're going to have a super cozy Christmassy bus for the next mm. few days before we fly out. And we could, at least we could play like festive jazz in the background yeah. or something. Oh, by the way, this is very random, but on my channel <laughs> a couple of years ago, I was like, I'm just going to upload a video of background Christmas jazz music. It has nothing to do with what my channel's ever been about, but I'm going to link it down below if you want it because it's really nice, like background Christmassy music. And... We're gonna go and probably finish all these cookies. <laughs> 100%. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, are we gonna have another video before Christmas? Who knows? Maybe not. If this is our last video before Christmas, Merry Christmas. I hope you have the most magical time wherever you are, whoever you're with. 
and make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye. I saw this really cute little town square with a, what are those called? Gazebo. Gazebo, and there's like Christmas lights everywhere. And I thought we should just get out and check it out. Mm -hmm.